What's going on everybody? This is Vince Miracle with CowbellKingdom.com giving you another NBA comparison on who we think will have the better 2017-2018 campaign. Today's two are two point guards. One, Ricky Rubio from the Utah Jazz in his first year with the Utah Jazz. And the second, the rookie sensation who's going to be not only the league MVP, but the league's rookie of the year all in the same season, Lonzo Ball of the Los Angeles Lakers. By the way, guy, that was a joke. First, let's start off with Ricky Rubio, who, again, is going to be having his very first season with the Utah Jazz after being traded this offseason from the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, Ricky Rubio was a player last season that, you know, had some highs and some lows. There's definitely going to be, everyone's going to look at him and say, when will he have that breakout year? When will he start knocking it down a three-point shot with some consistency? And last year, we started seeing him put pieces of that together. Now, it was it consistent from the three-point line? No, absolutely not. But the one thing we did see was he was finally willing to take those shots. Of course, Ruby Vision will always be in effect when watching him play. The passes will always continue to be there. And having a guy like Rudy Gobert, for lobs guys like Rodney Hood Joe Ingles Joe Johnson all on the wing this could actually be a very good year coming from a Minnesota team where the three-point shooting was subpar ever since Kevin Love left this for Ricky Rubio may be a team where he can actually see his assist numbers continue to go up his steals are always going to be there but also the fact if he's willing to take some of those three-point shots like he was last season and they actually start falling could be a really good year for the first year jazz player now let's look over at the rookie Lonzo Ball who has a lot of hype around his name right now a lot of people are comparing him to jason kidd from his rookie year and i actually really do like the comparison this guy has been bringing down rebounds getting assists the scoring hasn't been there but the one thing that you have looked been looking for is to see whether or not he can knock down a shot and it looks like he can although the, the percentages aren't there yet another big worry that we had was could he get that shot off with the awkward form that he has on his jumper and it shows that he actually can getting 11 to 12 10 to 11 12 jumpers off per game now of course they're not falling yet but i think once he gets up to the nba speed those shots shots will start falling but again he may also hit that rookie wall so that's something you're gonna have to take into account when you're looking at him now let's look at the fantasy side of these two players with lonzo ball who we just spoke about i think you're gonna see a high number of assists i think you're gonna see a decent total in rebounds i also think you're gonna see a high chunk in turnovers and that's gonna completely devalue his you know player evaluation and where you want to if you even want to draft him in most leagues another thing that we're seeing right now is yes he's going to be able to get off those shots like i just said yes he's going to be getting a lot of shots like i said but the problem is is he is he going to be making a lot of those shots again that's a big question mark i think that he's going to be up and down a lot of season i think he's gonna be hot and cold i think you're gonna see like a, a six man type of scoring mentality where he's gonna get a ton of shots off on a bad team but not a lot of them are going to go in at that point i think he's going to be shooting right around 42 percent which is again not a good shooting percentage for a point guard that you want to have on your team for just assists and maybe some rebounds but also the high turnovers gotta go also i don't know if he's going to be actually that good at stealing the basketball so there's no defensive stats there as of right now i'm not drafting him at all unless i'm punting turnovers willing to take the hit on field goal percentage and there, there's just a lot of bad so i'm not i'm not i'm currently not drafting him unless i'm in a 14 team league which i'm in two right now so he has been drafted in one of my leagues but again i'm not drafting him in my competitive 12 team leagues ricky rubio actually put up a fourth round value last season in all nine cat leagues i think he's a player that can actually see that value go up to maybe the early fourth round value because he was at the just the very end of fourth round value last season if he can move up into the early fourth round to potential third round value that guy could be a steal for you in the early middle rounds of draft so definitely look at him you know there's going to be steals he gets he can get to the free throw line and when he does he's knocking that stuff down at a high clip if he can knock down the three-point shot with some consistency or even just get to one to one and a half three-pointers per game that's something you're definitely going to want to have on your team the assists are going to be there the points are going to be decent but again it's the steals the assists the free throw percent that's everything you're going to want on your team. The two players definitely have, the reason why we did this comparison, have similarity is in their game. But of course, Ricky Rubio being the veteran, being on the better team, I think he's going to be a player that you're going to want to draft. Again, the fourth round value last season with the Minnesota Timberwolves, no shooters. It's now going to a Jazz team that has a few shooters around him and a guy in Rudy Gobert that he can just lob it up to. I think his value goes up from there for maybe late fourth 
to early fourth round value. So definitely pick him up in those early middle, middle rounds. All right, guys, now we want to hear from you. Who do you think will have the better 2017, 2018 campaign? Do you think Ricky Rubio is gonna have a up season now that he has some shooters around him and is actually on a really good team that could potentially fight for a playoff spot, unlike when he was with the Minnesota Timberwolves? What are your thoughts on Lonzo Ball? Do you think he's gonna be rookie of the year this year? Who's your favorite there? Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Again, subscribe to Cowbell Kingdom if you haven't subscribed already. Follow us on Twitter at Cowbell underscore Kingdom. I'm Vince Miracle. You guys can follow me at, at VM Center on all social media platforms. And until next time, NBA fans, bye-bye.